Hey everyone, welcome to Saturday, September 26th. And today I am here at school. So I know what you're thinking. You're in school on a Saturday? Yes, I actually am because I have some assignment to do. It shouldn't take that long, but I have to come here on campus and use the computers on here. But I am gonna be walking more on campus and this time I'm gonna be showing you the Walter Pyramid up close because I haven't done that, so I figured I should do that. So yeah, let's go ahead and walk around. This is really the emptiest I've seen a school ever. Really because I haven't been here in like over a year on Saturday, you know, where nobody, I mean, the funny thing is that there are still cars, but then you look around everywhere and there's like no freaking people. There's like a few over there, but for the most part there isn't anyone. People there, I'm sure you do. I see a few. I don't know. But I guess right now is a good time to, you know, like go around and take a tour of the whole thing. Not that there's no people, you know, blocking places. I have freedom. Oh, there's people there setting up at a table. I don't know what that's about, but, uh, okay. Walking uphill now. And there's actually some construction going on here. Right here is a university art museum. I've never been in there because <laughs> it's a museum. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be like offending museum fans. This right here is actually the water molecule fountain that looks really pretty in the weekdays, but unfortunately it's a Saturday, so they turn it off. It looks just like a normal swimming pool. I have to show this during the weekday, damn it, that I could get it today. But apparently not. But yeah, it's empty like I keep saying. Fairly empty campus. So I'm gonna be heading all the way to the library and then on my way back I just wanna show the pyramid because it's a really, really nice thing to watch, to view. This is the same place where I was at last time, except I was walking the other way around at nighttime that one day. I think it was a one million views vlog. This building right here though, is the University Student Union. This right here is our uh, swimming pool at the university. The beach, it says beach there. Yeah, but when we say the beach, it refers to our university, not literally the beach out by the sea. But right here's our swimming pool. It looks really nice. Very well maintained. Very pretty. Okay, let's keep going. University Student Union still. Alright, so I got my work done at the library and it was uh, really boring actually. What the hell? Oh. oh my god, it's wood shop. I think that's a wood shop or something about art, I don't know. But yeah, I finished all my work in the library and it was incredibly boring. <laughs> It's all about like data and statistics and analysis, all that stuff, which doesn't interest me, but it's part of my major, the whole research side of communication, but I like performing, like public speaking and all that, I prefer that. But I unfortunately have to keep doing it for the next two years, research and stuff. This is a path that I always take now. I just love it. I mean, behind me are all those like small offices. Again, they're not dorms, even though they look like dorms, but they are offices for not the actual like professors at the university but people that have their masters and like are working for a phd or something it's complicated but i mean come on it's university so it has to have a big campus all right guys onto the pyramid you can actually see it right there although it's kind of hard to read the camera but i can see it easily from here and there's a plane flying by <laughs> loud sound every time they come here yeah, so I'm on my way to the pyramid because I'm finally all done with this whole library garbage and while wow, on a Saturday. Can you believe that? It's, it's only just now sunk in that I actually came here on a damn Saturday. Like, who comes to school on a Saturday? Apparently me, but nothing I can do. Cause see, okay, the thing is, I came here because there's a program on the... Um, the library computer is called SPSS, something for like research. And I was trying to put it in my computer at home, but apparently students are not allowed to do that. It's like I couldn't do it. Only teachers and administrators can actually put it on their computer at home, which sucks. Oh, yeah, look at the parking lot. It's always my way. Look at this car. That is such a nice blue color. I mean, to be honest, whenever I see blue cars like that, uh, in a way, I kind of hate it because I get confused when I'm walking back over here to, as to which car is mine. Because if you look at mine, um, if you can, I mean, you already know, but it's like a blue Dodge Dakota color. Yeah, but anyways, I have to head all the way over there to the pyramid. I want to show you this thing up close because it is, it is a beauty. It really is. It's crazy. 
Now, there are also school buses here. And I think it's because today there was actually some event about the speech and, speech, uh, and debate. What, what is it called? Speech and debate teams. So, like, they had some, well, debate, obviously. But it's sorted by, like, rounds and stuff. Rather complicated, because I don't understand it. I mean, actually, last semester I was planning on joining the speech and debate team, but in the end I just decided not to, and I joined the Student Communication Association instead. And so far I think that it's been a pretty good decision, seriously. But I do know that, I guess, because I just said that I like public speaking, some people would be like, oh, you know, why don't you actually join the speech and debate team? Well, if I would join it, it would for sure not be the debate force. as in just regular public speaking, that's not a problem. It's really not. Okay, the trip is going to take a long time, so I'm just going to have to go ahead and show you footage over there instead of me walking all the way over there. Yeah. This right here, people, is the Walter Pyramid, one of the most iconic land... Oh, really, land? I was, I was about to say landforms. No, just one of the most iconic attractions of this university, Cal State Long Beach. It's really, really huge. I mean, as you can see, look at the stairs compared to the actual size. It is amazing in size. I would enter it, but the thing is, I think it's actually closed right now, so I can't really do much, but inside, it's basically gym, uh, gymnasium, which is a long word for gym. It's home to the CSULB uh, basketball team and volleyball teams for both men and, men and women, so four teams in total, and it's really cool. Let me go ahead and walk here just to show you. There's nobody here because again, it's a Saturday and everything's closed, even this whole thing is closed. You can't enter it. So this is right underneath it and it looks really amazing actually. Mike and Arlene? Oh, really? Point. I mean, even if I were to show the insides, I don't think I can see much. Oh, they actually closed them. They did. Um, oh my God, you can't even see anything. No, you can't. Well, whatever. But like I said, it's huge now. An interesting thing about this place is that uh, the film Space Jam, which you guys might might or might not know depending if you are young or old, but that film, um, parts of that, like the whole basketball scene inside, they were filmed in here, the Walter Pyramid. And it's made of, like, parts of it are aluminum, of course, and then there's a certain tree that I forgot the name of but it is actually one of three real pyramids in the entire United States. This one's one, the Walter Pyramid. There's another one, the, uh, starts with an L, and, um, oh shoot, Las Vegas. Whatever, I'll think about it later. And then the other one is the, um, there's also one in Memphis, Tennessee, I think. Pyramid something. Uh, how do I not know? Okay, whatever. But there are three. There are three different pyramids in the entire United States. Three, quote, real pyramids. And this is one of them. And like I said, it is huge. I mean, look at this. The pyramid starts at around my height. Because all this looks like aluminum down here. But it starts around there. And it's just, it's really nice. It is. And huge. Well, I guess I'll just be walking back because I've filmed enough. But I'm going to go ahead and do one more uh, real look at it from back here. So if you're ever in Cal State Long Beach, you know, and you drive up next to this thing, you're going to be like... Because the first time I saw this in person, I was flabbergasted. <laughs> For lack of a better word, oh my god. I'm going to walk now into my truck, because I should be getting home now. And again, if you are in the area, because I know some of you have told me that you're like one hour away from me, like somewhere in Los Angeles, but if you ever come down to Long Beach, check this out. You know, you don't have to be a student here to just be driving around here and take a quick look at this, but yeah, I mean, look at that. This is actually a better view from further away. Okay. Done. <laughs> so lonely in here. Okay, well, I'm pretty much done for today in terms of vlogging because that's kind of all that I did here. I went to campus on a Saturday, which again, I can't, I just can't get over that. I can't. Like, who the hell comes to university on a Saturday? Unless, of course, you have some mandatory meeting of uh, some organization that you're in or a club, but if you're not, then it's like, wow, I could have actually come here during the week and work on this damn thing in the library. Sure, there would have been more people, it would have been hard to find a spot, but eventually I could have, you know, like a computer. And instead I'm like, no, I'm going to come on Saturday. I'm like a freaking idiot. Okay, whatever. Well, like I said, it's the end. Pretty much all I've done today is come here, 
work on that damn assignment in the library and just I just filmed some stuff including the Walter Pyramid which is an amazing view like I kept saying so so far I've showed you a lot of different things you know like because I remember in vlog number four I told you all that I would uh I was going to be showing nice attractions in here such as the Japanese garden and the Walter Pyramid and I've done that I have now shown the Japanese garden and the Walter Pyramid the only other thing that was decent in, in, in an attraction, as an attraction, was the uh, water molecule thing. The water fountain, which I did show today, but it wasn't actually activated. The water molecule part, the pool was there, but nothing else really, and that was kind of a shame. So I didn't really get the best out of that, and I don't know if I'll just be uh, showing that later. A lot of wind, I'm sorry if it gets picked up on by the camera here, but there's a lot of wind now. Oh. Some videos have been so bad with the wind, like the CSPLB recycling center thing. There was so much wind on that. You could barely hear what the guy was saying sometimes. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this vlog. And um, just another quick view. So as always, thank you for watching. Goodbye everybody and until next time.